Good afternoon. We will be studying chapter 6, Fallacies part 2. We will be studying fallacy of division in much detail. In fallacy of division, one wrongly proceeds from collective use of term to distributive use. Now let us understand what is collective use of term. Collective use of term means all things taken together as one is having a quality. Let us take an example. The weight of mangoes in the basket is 5 kgs. Here all the mangoes taken together are 5 kgs. Their weight is 5 kgs together collectively. Thus the term weight is collectively used. Now let us understand what is distributive term. Distributive term means each thing individually has the quality. Let us take an example. When we say all mangoes in this basket are sweet. What do you understand by this? That each and every mango individually is sweet. Thus the term sweet is used distributively. Let us take few examples of fallacy of division. The term fallacy of division arises in two ways. The first way is from class to member. Let us take an example. It would be fallacious to argue that the college cricket team is good. Heathen being the member of the college cricket team, Heathen is good. So when the whole team is good together, it is the whole class together is good in cricket does not mean that Heathen, who is the member of that class, is also good. So we commit the fallacy of division from class to member. Let us understand the second way in which the fallacy of division is committed, that is from whole to part. For instance, it would be fallacious to argue that because an object or thing, that is the building as a whole, is big in size, therefore each and every apartment of that building is also big in size. When we commit the fallacy of division here, because what is true of the whole building, that it is big in size, need not be true of each and every apartment or flat in that building because the size of the building depends upon the number of flats also, not only the size of the flat. So the whole building may have many flats, therefore it may be big, but the flats in it may be small also, can be small also. Now let us understand the definition of fallacy of division. The fallacy of division is committed when it is wrongly argued that what is true of a class is also true of its member separately or what is true of the whole is also true of its parts singly. Let us take an example. A bag full of rupee coins is heavy. Therefore, each and every rupee coin in it is heavy. In this example, it is wrongly argued that what is true of all rupee coins collectively in a bag, that is, it is heavy, is also said to be true of each rupee coin in that bag. 
Now let us take the second example of the fallacy of division. Water is a liquid, therefore its constituents, hydrogen and oxygen are also liquids. In this example, it is wrongly argued that what is true of water as a whole, that is, it is a liquid, is said to be true of its parts, that is, constituents, hydrogen and oxygen separately. So, we have understood the fallacy of division that it is committed in two cases from collective use of term to distributive use of term that is from class to member and from second case from whole to part. Thank you.